So we started talking about the financial point. Money is a spirit. That's what people have to, people can work in the realms of the spirit to, to drag it. Somebody can have a kiosk. Nobody's buying. Then he goes to maybe Bolgatango village somewhere or Vota or Lomi or Beni or anywhere. See one man. The man said, do this, do this, do this. Go through all this process. Then he said, come back and put something in the shop. After you have done that, then the same shop nobody was buying. People start entering. What has the person done? He has commanded the spirit of money and, and to come to that shop to make sure people come and buy so you can get money. Now, if you're a child of God and you understand, you begin to pray by the covenant, you provoke that spirit. Now, every demonic spirit in the demonic world has a counterpart in the kingdom. Hello? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? I hope you are not sleeping. Uh -huh. Any demonic spirit that is in the demonic world, uh, warlocks, charms, malams, occultic people can come do something to provoke that demon. This now, the angel Satan brought is one third. One third. So they left to third. So if the angels are three billion, Satan brought one billion, leaving two billion. So everything Satan came with on this earth to trouble us, which is all the bad boys. Trouble <laughs> <laughs> he brought bad boys. He brought bad boys. Bad boys on this planet to help to, to disturb us. Bad boys. <laughs> the same angels Satan has demonically. God has twice of them. So, poverty is a demonic angel. Prosperity is an holy angel. So when you begin to practice certain things, you invoke that angel to begin to manifest for you. Now, for that angel to manifest, he moves people to help you. He moves what? People. Can I hear you? People. He moves what? People. He moves people, systems, situations. Please write and be Follow carefully. So when you begin to practice certain things in the kingdom, tithing, giving, sacrifice, honoring your prophet, reading Bible, praying, now that angel is activated to begin to move the system, move human beings, move helpers, move things to come to you. You may not see it physically, but there's a force behind working things for you. There are four. 50 people in this auditorium today, mm. you'll be the richest of your father's Amen. house. Amen. Poverty will die forever. Amen. I said poverty will die forever. Amen. Poverty will die forever. Amen. You'll be the richest of your father's house. Amen. Let your amen be louder. Amen. So prosperity is spirit. Money is a spirit. Write it down. Anything that is spiritual, you must engage process. I'm concluding the next five minutes. So we can. Anything that is spiritual, you need process. That's when you go to Juju Man. They will tell to bath. They will tell to eat. They will tell to sleep. They will, they will take you through some things. They will take you through. Okay. They are trying to access the spirit realm for you. That's what somebody can mention your name. Kwame! Kwame! Kwame!
kwame ubapra kwame kwame ska de wonye bi da kwame kwame e komba ti o ba stress e duane very bad ways very bad ways and since that time everything is happening you are you can't understand everything shutting down money shutting down life is shutting down destiny is shutting down you can't explain it tonight i pray for somebody receive it a new power in the realms of the spirits blocking your prosperity i command to scatter yeah. one will pour the oil on your life tonight let that evil be destroyed. Amen. Let that evil be destroyed. Amen. Let that evil be destroyed. Amen. Somebody shout amen like you believe it. Amen. Now, I've seen people life change. I've spoken by God's grace. But people have become money instant. Most of them, of course, this night, many of you, your hands have been full with money. Amen. Those who concentrate, not be watching around, not be looking at people, connect with your spirit. Your hands have been full with money and resources. Amen. Money and resources will enter your hands. Amen. Money and resources will enter your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit. I pray for those who are here tonight mm. and even anyone who's watching online the next 90 days mm. outbreak of financial glory amen You're, you are not serious i said the next 90 days outbreak of financial glory amen in businesses amen in career amen in ministries amen outbreak of financial glory amen outbreak of financial glory amen so number one money is a spirit number two make a decision not be poor quickly i'm just winding up my service so we can enter that money to service make a decision that you will not be poor I'm just wind up with five short, short points. Decide that you will never be poor. God always grant the desire of the righteous. God will grant your desire. He will grant you all. One will make a choice. When you make a desire, decide, make a choice, make your mind that I will not be poor in life. Your choice, listen, your choice is very potent, is very is so much potent is your choice is powerful now god can force you you can decide to be poor you can decide to be rich god will leave you number three let's run Go for inside. Number three, go for inside. Read a lot of books on prosperity. 
prosperity. Write it down. You cannot produce what is not in your mind. Write it. You see, you cannot produce what is not. Read a lot of books on prosperity. Feed your mind on prosperity. I'm winding up tonight. That's, that's what we can pray for the next one. So, f- please feed. Listen over and over and over. Keep feeding this mind. Romans 12, 2, we don't want to read all the scriptures, so I don't want to bore, quote too many scriptures. Number four, is it number four? yourself with too much knowledge to a point that you know that you can't be poor. Number four. Engage the spirit of favor. Pastor Moore tried to talk about that. We'll come back to that. Oh, listen, there is one thing about hard work. It's good. But hard work without favor is suffering. It's what? So you need God to breathe favor on your hard work. Tonight by this oil, you and your generation, favor will be a canopy around you for us. I said, you are a generation. Strange favor will answer to you. Strange favor will answer to you. Amen. Strange favor will answer to you. Amen. And finally tonight, connect your prophet for prophetic blessing. Connect to a prophet consistently for prophetic blessing. That's what I started doing Shimon, Shimonite. Realize that those who consistently put a little seed in the hands of their prophet for prophetic declarations, they're the one that prospers. Hello? Right. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Uh, Ephraim, come. He's my younger brother. Now, if he wants to prosper, he has to. He, yes, he brought my sacrifice. He brought me. I paid his school fees from day one to now till he did the master's. It's my younger brother. Now, he can't, he can't prosper without doing something he needs to do. He said, hey, it's my brother. He, <laughs> that's my big brother. I told a story. I think I've told it over and over again. Remember, he had a brother. In the river, he was in London, suffering. Things were so tough. So anytime Reverend should go to London, he would gather money and give it to him, send it. He gather money, give it to send it. But the guy was struggling. So one day, Reverend Stu got to, he, had, he shared in the, when he was doing the teaching, the man of God, it's a title of the teaching, he did a series on the man of God. He said, he got to London, and the brother said, now, daddy, he called his own brother, daddy, the first time, he, called, he has not been called daddy, he said, daddy, the things people, they do, I want to do some. So he took money and dropped in his hands, he said, now, pray for me. The next time Reverend Stu was in town, the guy brought 5,000 pounds, he said, daddy, Take the money to the house. This, and gave, he gave Reverend Stu money. He now had the guy have saved 5,000 pounds. And after Reverend Stu got there, he gave Reverend Stu pray. He got money. Finally, for the guy relocated back to Ghana, he's a multi-millionaire. Now, he has to do what others do for prophetic blessing. So, so you can be in this church. And you are not doing it. Please, it is not the prophet did the manual. 
Assuming you give a prophet 50 cities, do you think that 50 cities will do anything to the prophet? Come, come down, come down, to Bwase, Bacho, Braform, 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 Fakumane, Braform, 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 Sister, Braform, Sister. Huh? Tomorrow I'm going to show to one of my prophets tomorrow. If I stop giving any seed to him, before I met him, he was very successful. Calm down, bravo, bravo. Before I met him, he was what? Successful. Okay. I'm privileged to be a son, and I've been sowing. If I stop sowing, nothing will change. Now, I will suffer. The store the first time I gave Papa Yudu for five thousand dollars. I want to show a prophet five thousand this many years ago. My life opened up like it opened up what this year when I want to show my sacrifice. I had a dream, and the angel told me that millions of dollars will be my portion, will be my portion. I'm not there, but I will get there. Does he even know? Does he even know that I dropped one, one dollar? No. The truth is that I didn't even see him. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I gave it to my friend, Bishop Odepo Jr. I said, put him to. I said, can we get a receipt? I said, it is all right, brother. I didn't see the old man. No. He had to say, be blessed. No. My friend will come here. Oh, Pastor a brother of mine, I see a summons of God. He took a sacrifice to Oedipo. When he went, couldn't see Oedipo. So he gave the money out. So I was asked, would, they, would the money reach him? What has happened with the money? Because <laughs> the sacrifice was very heavy and he handed over and left. Then at that time, his church was struggling. Then Oedipo appeared in the vision to his office. Then church exploded. So you can be in this church and not practice this covenant we are talking about. You heard my son, Pastor Koju? Koju broke through, not by prayer, he broke through by prophetic sacrifice. Prophetic sacrifice. Ah, yeah, yeah. We can't say something because it's on air, it's on radio station, all those things. There are things we can't say because it's on, on radio. 